Shroud is one of the biggest streamers out there. And with good reason. He's still got that crispy aim from his CSGO glory days. What a flick coming in, Shroud getting one of the headshot. He's tapping away, Shroud! Can he do it again? He's up to 11 kills and looking for number 12. Are you kidding me, Shroud? But with all the success he's seen since that time, it's easy to forget, and important to remember, that Shroud built his stream as an alternative to a life of competition. You're not going to see me go pro in a game ever again. If you truly want to play at the top, like the top top, you cannot stream your practice. You can't. Along the way, he's done so many things that would likely have been impossible had he remained a pro player. Like spreading the love. I gave a shout out to a drummer and then he was just playing like some of my favorite bands and stuff on the drums and everything. Then another one, I hosted a singer and she made like an album now, so she's doing really, really well. Even when Twitch thinks that it's too much love for one stream. He loves keeping his desk clean. Oh, look at that grease. Oh. And he's got some interesting associates. What? 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 What's up, man? What? 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 So today we are looking at the weird facts about Shroud, from the more mundane to the truly strange. And if you think we're going to avoid certain subjects, you couldn't be more wrong. Word winner, on the winner. Is that you got a fat. <laughs> All right, guys, Josh is out this week, which means that yours truly will be leading you through this deep dive. But before we submerge ourselves in all things Shroud, I'm going to ask that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Because that sweet, sweet ad revenue is. Hopefully gonna let us buy an air freshener for this heap of junk? Like, what does Josh eat down here? Ugh. Anyway, let's get down to business and start exploring below the surface of the Shroud Iceberg. Coolest dad? Now, if you've watched enough videos in our Story Of series, it feels like every single esports pro had an older brother that introduced them to gaming. But for Shroud, it was his dad, Tomash, who loved games before that was a cool thing that only the coolest people did. I always had like new tech. I had like some crazy MP3 player that played video. It was just weird. My dad was just huge on building computers. So every, every like year he'd have a new computer. Um, no, I love games. I love games. I love computers. I, I build every single computer we own. and. Uh, uh, and I was a big time player, uh, not professionally or anything, just for fun. And I love games and I stay late uh, so many nights. But when Papa Shroud let tiny little baby Shroud try CS, that's when things really took off. And then I introduced him to Counter-Strike because I, I liked that game. And uh, he picked up so quickly that after a couple of months, it was pointless for me to play with him. Eclipsed by Shroud. When you think of Eclipse, you probably think of this kind of Eclipse. You probably don't associate it with Shroud, but his previous alias was M Eclipse. He ended up changing it to Shroud, a synonym, because Eclipse was a way more popular name. If you look at the back catalog of Shroud's videos, you can find plenty of references to his old handle and he's still got an old channel on YouTube under that name. Of course, now that he's one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, Shroud is also often a very difficult name to secure. So he sometimes uses his last name, Grzeszczyk, but backwards. The name Shroud is now an iconic part of the Twitch landscape, and Shroudy Rowdy sure as hell sounds a lot better than Eclipsy Tipsy? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I tried, okay? All right, now that the obvious is in the rear view mirror, let's move on to the bands, beans, and bones. Wait, why does this thing have a rear view mirror anyway? PUBG Prison. 
Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was an important game for Shroud. He was an early adopter and quickly became known as one of the best players out there. And uh, that's how it's done. It's clear that Shroud and PUBG both helped each other grow. But in spite of that, he's actually been banned from the game on two separate occasions. The first was for teaming with a hacker. And sure, it was a pretty funny moment. Wait, that, that's not the right footage. <laughs> Are you sure you wanna go here? There's no players here. Beep, 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 beep. I'm getting banned. <laughs> Anyways, the first time was way cooler than the second time, when people were stream sniping him on the test server and following him around. Shroud made an innocuous comment to follow him, which apparently earned him a ban? From just the test server? Java Fiend. Shroud loves coffee. Whether he's slamming it at his desk, or grabbing one with dead mouse. I've been playing since like kind of 1.6, yeah. but then, you know, I, I did CZ for a hot minute and then, and then Go came out and I was a little bit better with that. He's just an absolute fiend for that burnt beet juice. Come on, man. No, we'll get back here. No. Dog is a little asshole. Coffee has another role in Shroud Street though. Madrina's Coffee was the first ever broadcast sponsorship, and that means they kind of bought a piece of Shroud history. Less than a year later, Shroud was even promoting the canned coffee brand's launch outside of a Walmart. Just got out of Walmart, and I bought like 12 cans of Madrina's, even though I get that shit for free, just wanna let you guys know, flex. I'm outie. I just want to let you guys know, I came back for the can. Okay, I'm gonna recycle it, I'm an adult. Scooter accident. Now, you may not know this, but back in March of 2019, Shroud actually hurt himself pretty badly after falling off of his scooter. According to information from his friend Justin, Shroud flipped over the front of the scooter after braking hard and landed on his left elbow, injuring much of his arm. Shroud went into surgery the same day, while Justin kept people updated. My first surgery was not like a big surgery, it was very, very small. It was just like a cleaning, like debris cleaning and shit, make sure it's not infected. And then I need to wait until uh, my evaluation, which is start next week. After a second surgery, Shroud sported a cast for some time, but at least in terms of gaming, he's back to 100%. Let's spawn, I'm sure. Oh. Nice, well done. All right, things are starting to heat up down here. So let's take a look at the things that make Shroud sweat a bit. Wow addiction? Shroud is an old school Wow fan. And like any friends you may have who play Wow, it's pretty much guaranteed that he'll be there when the new expansion drops. He also returned to the game's halcyon days by playing WoW Classic, where he mained a shaman and cleared all of the game's raid content, including Naxxramas. Oh, do it. no! Oh, Sony, pump. Oh, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. It's only Sony. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! But Shroud likes WoW a lot. Enough that he was willing to drop a lot of money to be able to make a raid time that would have otherwise been impossible. The rowdy one explained that he actually chartered a private flight to make it back home in time for a raid, and that the trip cost him 10 times what a normal airline ticket would have. How much did it cost? 6,600 an hour, so it was two hours. It was around that, it was, Holy shit. it was something like that, six, six something an I hour. Almost threw the f up. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God. On top of that, most of Shroud's regular viewers are there to see some crispy aim, not Stranglethorn Veil PvP. So simply streaming WoW Classic instead of something else 
brought its own costs in terms of viewership, subs, and donations. Adderall use. The performance-enhancing substance debate has been hanging over the esports community for a long time. And we're not talking about steroids. Because while there are some pretty jacked people in Counter-Strike, it's not necessarily an in-game advantage. The substance in question is the one that affects your mental abilities. Adderall. It's a commonly prescribed treatment for ADHD, but it developed a reputation as a performance enhancer in video games. Adderall use became a hot topic in 2015 after one of Shroud's former teammates, Semphis, admitted in an interview with Launders that he and the rest of the team had been using Adderall at ESL1 Katowice 2015. I don't even care. We're all on Adderall. Like, well, I, don't, I don't even give a f Like, it was pretty obvious, like, if you listen to the comms, like, I don't know, people can hate it or whatever. And tons everyone of everyone does it. Adderall at ESA land, right? Yeah. The comms do certainly seem a bit animated. So what are we going to do? We're just going to go just and flash. Go. I'm going to go. Just I'm gonna go I don't want to just die because we're confused. No, no, no. Just flash for me. Flash for me. I have no flash. Flash. I'm flashing. I got it. I got control. I'm come with you, through. Car? Come through the smoke. Speed control. I'm gonna come with yeah, you. Yeah, I have it. Can we? Can we actually? I'm in. I'm in halls. I have yeah, a smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's grim. There's two B. There's two B right now. He, let, let me. Let me pick by. Can someone pop flash my top mid? I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't. Do it multiple times. Multiple times. Flashing. Flashing. Flashing right now. But I think the top comment on this video nails it. Shroud still sounds pretty low key during this whole sequence. Could abuse halls this round. Do you want me to Paul? There's two in banana. Yeah. Do you want to? It's kind of late. No, no, no. Save it, save it, save it. They flash clear at halls. Do you want me to save it? Save it. No, tell no, me one, tell me one. Yeah, BBB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah. Could be water. He's water, he's water, 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 water. Yep, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for, uh... Shroud hasn't confirmed whether he was using Adderall during the event, though he has separately admitted that he used it while reviewing the team's demos. I only took it one time, and it was a very, very, very small amount. Didn't really do much for me. Like, I could focus a little bit better in the sense that yeah. I, was, I was studying demos at the time, and it helped me keep my attention on the demo and nothing else. I didn't, like, side track on yeah. anything. Wadu Heck Saga. The rise of streaming changed so much in terms of how we entertain ourselves online, but it also gave way to a new phenomenon the stream sniper. They're often just trying to piss the streamer off. But the mysterious figure known as Wadu Heck met Shroud in PUBG, and he wasn't trying to provoke simple rage. Instead, he was just weird as hell. Wadu! 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 Wadu Heck. Just like that, that's it? Wadu Heck. Okay. Wadu, Wadu. He seemingly could only say the words Wadu Heck. Like he was a Fallout NPC or something. Ha <laughs> Gary! Oh, and he definitely died like an NPC too. Whether he was getting bonked by a frying pan or trying to bring Azathoth into the material plane. What? what? It was Wadu and. Wadu. Uh, look at. <laughs> I love it. I love it. They weren't fighting anyone. They were just trolling. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Wadu Heck's appearance in Shroud's stream was always a highlight. Is that really you? Wadu. Uh, Wadu Heck. That's the soundboard. No. Wadu Heck. Oh no, it is you. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Wadu Heck average skin enthusiast. If you've ever watched Shroud play a game where skins are a thing, you know that he's pretty into them. Cloud9 2014 Dreamhack. Hey, I was at this event. Shocker. Only $80? This is horseshit. This is gambling. This is illegal. And he famously played a 2v2 aim map match in CS with Simple on his team against Summit 1G and Mo where he had to win 10 games, and his opponents only had to win one. They, uh, didn't. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose a dragon lore. They're not gonna be able to maintain us. <laughs> yeah, not for 10 maps. Maybe they are. <laughs> I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I someone they have to play you one more time with somebody. Oh my god, dude. But in Counter-Strike, he opens a lot of cases too. Sometimes at the weirdest possible times. You feeling antsy? Sorry, I was opening a case. Hold on, hold on. Good luck open. Good luck open. <laughs> we're good, we're good. We're better. Are you actually defusing instead of opening? What are you doing? You're right. Hold on. I, I, can, I could open one. We're fine. We're fine. What do you mean? I just had to open one real quick. Skins equals wins. Blessed by orange Jesus. We talked about Shroud's love of opening cases, but there was one event that made everyone wonder whether he was truly Gaben's apostle. In March of 2019, Shroud was running some pugs and opening up some new Prisma cases, and he was feeling pretty good about his chances. I'm gonna get lucky. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. I'm gonna get two knives in one crate. But it wasn't just bravado, because a couple of cases later, he was the one flexing. Oh, okay. Who got a knife, huh? I did. But while one phase four Doppler was good, two is obviously better. Again. Are you kidding me? The same thing, two of them? Is this real? CSGO Skin Fiend Anomaly also unboxed the exact same knife during his own simultaneous stream and jokingly tried to pass it off as Shroud's using a name tag. Open it by Shroud. Was yeah. it open by Shroud? I'll, I'll, I'll name mine open by Shroud. <laughs> and look, I'm not exactly sure how it went for Anomaly, but it's only fair that a little bit of Shroud's luck gets shared with others. Finally, we've reached the bottom of this colossal iceberg, but I have a feeling there's something else that's pretty huge down here. Could Shroud have won a major? We talked in the intro about how Shroud was and continues to be regarded as one of North American Counter-Strike's greatest mechanical prodigies. His stint with Cloud9 ended in August of 2017, but just over five months later, Cloud9 won a CS major. North America's first. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, it's happened! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E League major champions! That August, Shroud retired and his boy Nothing got benched. The org replaced them with Rush and Tarek, who were acquired from Optic. So, we have to ask. If Shroud had stayed on and C9 had only added, say, Tarek, would they still have won the major? It's possible, although the C9 that played the first half of 2017 wasn't exactly putting up incredible stats. So it's pretty hard to use numbers as a point of comparison here. Even though this is just an imaginary scenario, we might have been closer to this reality than we think. Both Nothing and Shroud were on the bench and could have been used in the event that one of the main roster couldn't play. Now, that didn't happen, but it could have. A major win would obviously have been amazing for Shroud, but since he basically conquered Twitch, I think we can call it even. He has a fat what? Okay, so if you've spent any amount of time in his stream, it's not difficult to remember Shroud's member. It's not like you're a massive dude, but you got like good sized feet, which means you have a fat cock. It became a popular meme in his community after some donations referenced it. Word on the street is that you got a fat cock. <laughs> Look at the clock TikTok. TikTok running out of time and I need your fat cock. It's the biggest on the block. I crave the sudden shock of my ass getting rocked. <laughs> What's up? and some pointed to a very over-the-top sexual harassment training video as a potential source for those messages. Word around the offices, you've got a fat cock. Yes, I do. I've got a fat cock too. It's unlikely that we'll ever know for sure, but when Shroudy played Cyberpunk, well, I'll let you see for yourself. Pubic hairstyle, penis size? Wait, <laughs> what? Perfect. Perfect. We're looking damn good. So, there we have it. The Shroud Iceberg. I feel like there's a lot of things we didn't get into and more stuff we could have explored, 
like the Justin relationship or the luggage resale saga? Let us know in the comments if there's anything more you wanted us to look into and we'll see you next time. I switched my CSGO sensitivity to Shroud CSGO sensitivity, but I've been running a 2.4 man and the Shroud sense is the God sense, dude. Whatever this man plays at, that is the God sense. I'm convinced, like whatever it is. And if he changes his sense, I'll change mine from this point forward. I don't even care. What I'll go in his stream commands and I'll be like at or like exclamation point and sends and like whatever it is, I'm gonna adopt that shit, man. It's, this man's a God, he knows.